In 2010, a group of University of Michigan graduate students at the School of Natural Resources and the Environment began a master's project called the Green Brewery Project. Our goal was to find out how the Arbor Brewing Company's Corner Brewery in nearby Ypsilanti, Michigan, could transform itself into a more energy and water efficient operation. Equipped with data loggers provided by Onset Computer, we spent over a year studying the flows of energy and water in the brewery. Today, I'm going to share some of the techniques we used to get the data we needed. Hopefully, you'll be able to use these techniques in your own energy audit efforts. One of the biggest energy users in any brewery is the steam boiler, which provides process heat for high temperatures needed to make beer. We wanted to figure out just how much natural gas this boiler uses to make a batch, but the utility bill doesn't split out the gas used for other things, like space heating and domestic hot water. To further complicate things, the amount of natural gas used might vary from batch to batch depending on a number of different factors. So we realized that we had to do something to monitor the boiler directly. But how to monitor the boiler? We didn't have the funds to buy natural gas flow meter, so that was out of the question. Then we realized that we could simply monitor the activity of the inducer fan attached to the boiler. The boiler couldn't fire without the fan being on, and the fan wouldn't turn on unless the boiler was about to start firing. If we could somehow figure out when the fan starts and stops throughout the day, we'd know how long the fan was on, and therefore how much energy was used by the boiler. The Hobo U9004 motor on-off data logger was perfect for this job. Here you can see it attached to the boiler's inducer fan. We double-checked the boiler's maintenance records to make sure that it had been recently serviced and that the fuel utilization rate was, in fact, according to specification. We left the data logger in place for a while, letting it collect data over several months. Then we came back and started the real work. The next step was to download the data onto my laptop using Hoboware. Once this was done, we could actually identify the different stages of the brewing process simply by the graphical output of the boiler fan's activity. But this wasn't enough for the analysis that we wanted to do, so we exported the table data into a format readable by Microsoft Excel. Alternatively, you can use OpenOffice if you don't have Excel. After some data manipulation, which I'll go into in further detail later in this presentation, we were able to come up with some important pieces of information. We know the gas input rate, because it's stamped on the side of the boiler. Looking at the data, we know the time that the boiler is on. Finally, we know how much beer is brewed based on production logs from the brewery. All this information can be combined to give us a very useful metric called the energy intensity, the amount of natural gas used for every barrel of beer produced.